I'm on the options tab here and I want to talk about general configuration. This console is actually kind of complicated when it comes to how you configure it. As I mentioned in the first video, it has both Pro Tools connections, it has MADI connections, and has analog connections. And unlike more modern consoles where just all of those connections show up on the patch bay, they don't all show up on this console at once. I've got a document, a couple documents I've created that kind of explain this in detail. I don't really want to go into that right now. I just want to give you a basic configuration for starting. When you get in and you're, you're on your systems tab of your options tab, um, you can't mess with any of this until you put the desk in config mode. And this is a really critical thing that doesn't happen on any other console I've encountered. When you're not in config mode, you can't really do anything to blow up your mix. But there are certain things on this console that when you do, the sound mutes. Like if you want to add a plug-in, the sound mutes. If you want to take a, a channel and go from mono to stereo, the sound mutes. Whether you like that or not, hey, it's an old console, that's the way it works. But you got to go into config mode. It's like the danger mode. So you can't shut down until you hit config mode, right? So once we're in config mode, we can hit the edit mode here and really configure what we want. And um, things by default, well, they're not, there is no default, which I'll explain in a moment. But the way it's set up right now looks pretty good. I got 48 input channels. I got 16 effects returns, 16 graphic EQs. These two need to be on for anything we do at Nescom. Enable stage two, that enables that second card. I don't believe you can have Maddie on if you don't enable stage two. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I know these both need to be on. Um, for the first 48 inputs of the console, you want it on stage rack. That will allow your first 48 inputs to be patchable from the analog. And the next 49 through 96, we want them to be on MADI 2. So this is why we have to turn on MADI 2. This is turns on the MADI 2 card. And that's actually wrong. We want it on input mode. And I hope that's correct. I'm going to test it in a moment. And if I don't, we'll have to reshoot this video. But it's on input mode, and this lets MADI come to the inputs. So with this particular configuration, which we're going to test in a moment, it's going to, I think, because I can't remember completely, we're going to be able to have 48 inputs from the analog and 48 inputs from MADI. Um, there are other really cool things this console does. There's something called Virtual Sound Check, where your Pro Tools recordings show right back on your faders that you were using for your analog inputs. Really, really cool, really, really clever. I'm not covering those in this video. This video these videos are just going to get you to how to use analog and how to use... Uh, Maddie inputs. Okay, uh, we'll stop right there.